Hello, race fans, and welcome to the PRWC DC Shoes World Championship. Um, we are the Gatorade 250 here at Bristol. We're going to have 50 laps, which will be approximately 25 miles. So, yeah, so there's a Gatorade 250 here at the Bristol Motor Speedway. I don't know why I'm doing that. Oh, I'm sorry. On the poll today, we got Ryan Richards, Zohar Manid, um, John Castle, Ryan Cooper, Jake Bell, Danny Wells, I see Brandon Bain, Tony Blazer, Heather Crawford, and the 18 of CSU Doku. So, as they get rolling off the field, I guess these cameras will too. Um, I, I'm expecting a caution or two, but nothing super duper major. Maybe a couple cars crash. I, you know, messed with the, the, the fucking, god damn. I'm sorry about that, guys. I messed with the track a little bit before, and it turns out that I had bunching distance at 1.1, which made everybody crash at restarts and everything, and, yeah. Ryan Richards takes him to the green, and he gets a great start. Um, let's shoot to the back of the field to see if there are any problems through the field. Um, staying pretty close. Side by side racing, getting dicey. There's a little bit of contact, maybe, between the 31 and 3, Jake Baskinger and Liam Irvig. Now, this high lane, they're not going to want to let anybody in. They're hopefully just going to shuffle everybody through onto the back. I don't know why Liam Irvig always starts last. Honestly, I think it's kind of funny. Um, But he has done very poor since ever since his win at Nashville. Ryan Richards, your leader. Um, running in the 123 areas for lap times. Maybe 124s. Fastest lap, though, is second place. Zohar Monted with the 15, uh, 1520. Ryan Richards with a 15.22. That time was a 15.29. So, yeah, Richards is pulling away just a little bit, though, over second place Zohar Monet. DeWalt Tools and Stan the DeWalt and Stanley Tools forward of John Castle will run third. And Ryan Cooper fourth. And the unsponsored, I think that's a Chevy. Jake Bell rounds out your top five. Now, I talked to Ryan Richards before, and he said when he got this ride, he's glad with the top 20. Because he's a rookie, he doesn't know what he's doing as well as others might. But he is leading in that probably one of the most difficult tracks to pass on, Bristol. So... Like, you got to have a way faster car than that guy up in front of you if you're going to have a shot. Zohar dug a little bit too deep and just lost all that grip because the high line is going to be... The high line is going to be pretty easy to defend because the low line, you're going to be drifting up and you're going to try as hard as you can to stay off that car right above you and you're going to have to get off the gas. So if you're going to make a pass, it should be up on the high side. But then again, it is so difficult to get your nose up in there. See, Ryan Cooper's trying to get past John Castle, and the same thing. He's digging it too far down, can't get as much grip as he needs. Although that time, he might have uh, closed the gap just a little bit. This is really high speeds here for Bristol Motor Speedway, though. I must say. 30 car. Um, just, just an FYI, the 30... And the 15 are both going to be open as of the conclusion of this race. 
because Dion Scott has been uh, permanently banned from the PORWC. Or not permanently banned, uh, indefinitely suspended. Which, I mean, I guess it means he could come back, but there's no certain date on that. But, as you see in the bottom corner, you see Billy Bishop sucks dick. I think that is Dylan Young just signed into Skype. So, <laughs> I just wanted to say Billy Bishop sucks dick. Uh, I'm not sorry at all. Liam Arvig is in jeopardy of going a lap down. He is 12 and a half seconds off the leader. And that is not even one corner. That is about three seconds in front of leader Ryan Richards. And we're not even close to halfway. So if you're going to want to be able to keep this going, then, um, yeah. <laughs> Zoharmonid is running second. He wants to get a win because his buddy or brother or something. I'm sorry, I'm not caught up in that. Uh, Trent Dunham has gotten a win this year. Maybe two. It might just be one that wants. I know he won Watkins Glen, which we will return to in the chase. Although, that Watkins Glen is going to be a little different than this one. Because there will be no inner loop. We'll see who actually pays attention to this and notices because when the chase starts I tell you this racing is going to be extreme Zohar is catching the 83 of Richards but out of that corner Richards really pulled away like I said earlier you're not going to be able to make many passes here today because you're you're going to have to compromise if you're going to make the pass because the guy in front of you has got that racing line. So you can't just go up there and take it from him unless you are in front of him. and you, you're, Otherwise, you're just going to go right up into him and cause a problem, which is not necessarily something we want to see. Then again, some people do join these things for crash fests. Um, average speed right now of 125.25 for Ryan Richards. And that is a fast pace. A very fast, very fast pace. Zohar Mana just put up his best lap of the race of 1520. And he's, he's gaining. He's gaining a few hundredths, but that will add up. Liam Erbig, and yeah, Erbig is less than one corner away from getting lapped. We're going to go to this bird's eye view on Ryan Richards and see if you can see the three of Liam Irving anywhere at all. You can kind of see him through the corner behind this S thing, the stats. Yep, you see them. And they're just losing time more and more. get this battling going side by side and you will both both people will lose time especially the one trying to make the pass you can see Ryan Richards in the back when you look uh, down the back you can see Ryan Richards in the back we have less than 20 laps to go surprisingly not a caution yet there is Richards and Monad <coughs> sorry about that guys Zohar is less than a quarter of a second behind Ryan Richards. Less than a car length coming into that corner. Zohar's got to be getting a little bit frustrated in that car, though, knowing that he is faster than Ryan Richards, but Richards is running the best line. They're actually running about the same line. Um... Monad might be a little bit lower than Richards, but they are running on that ideal racing line. And Monad can't do anything because Richards has that line, and 
there's not really a lot of room to pass other than there. So if Richard slips up and slips up high, then there's a possibility, but that high line might just be where it's at tonight. Lap 38 out of 50. I know I am showing only the leaders, and I am deeply sorry for that. And Richards may have caught up to a lap traffic of Liam Erbig. This could be a problem for the 83. Trying to get his... I think this might be his first PORWC win, should he win here tonight. And Erbig might cause him a few problems. It's definitely going to be a problem if you get held up by that lapped car. Well, not lapped yet, but they are going to put up a fight to finish this race on the lead lap. And with only 10 laps to go and about 3 tenths, a uh, constant, uh, constant 3 tenths separating the 83 and the 40, this could... This... He got way down low, and that gave... That gave Monad a big chance to catch up. I don't know if Richard is trying to wait to get to Irvig or what. But, you know, these cars are all running almost identical speeds. And, um... I don't know, this is pretty fun to watch, though. It's, if we could get just a giant helicopter camera. Um, just, you know, shooting back, and it's... You know, a conveyor belt of cars. Ryan Richards is your leader. This is going to be the best shot for these next six laps. The final six laps. Will Richards catch Irving before Monad catches Richards? You know, I really think either of them could make the pass at any moment if they can just, if they were able to stay in their own racing line. But Irving could potentially screw Ryan Richards out of another good finish. Remember, there was a little bit of controversy in the PORWC Pepsi Cup Series season finale where there was a little bit of contact between Irving and Richards. Jack Richards. No, that was Charles Jackson. A little bit of contact between Irving and Jackson, which ultimately took Ryan Richards out of the race. So, I don't know. I guess Irving better hope that he doesn't uh, piss off Richards again. Because once is a racing incident, and twice is looking for trouble. But two laps to go this time by. It doesn't look like anything is going to happen. As you see Jake Baskinger trying to get past Dylan Young. If you looked at the top. But that is what I was saying with that racing line. You get out of it and you're not going to be able to run up front the way you want to. You know, that racing line is everything. Last lap coming out of turn number two. And here they come. Turn number three. Zohar Monad a little too far back to make the move. Ryan Richards comes out of turn four and is going to win. I think he's going to win his first ever PORWC race. But if not, still his first PORWC DC Shoes World Championship win. Let's go and take a look at these finishing results. Oh, you got Ryan Richards, Zohar Monad, John Castle, Ryan Cooper, Jake Bell, Brandon Bain, Heather Crawford, Danny Wells, Christopher Martin, and Jack Rasmussen is your top ten. No cautions today. Uh, I just got to add in Ryan Richards to the official chase sketch right now. And next week is... Wow. Next week is going to be amazing. No cautions. We're going to be at a short track of Martinsville with incredibly close drafting distance, high grip levels... Basically, I'm putting Wreckfest in a can um, and throwing that at Martinsville with no cautions. So, you know, they get spread out like that, and then one thing could take out the whole damn field. You could get an unexpected winner. And we have now, I think, 13 drivers in contention for the chase. Uh, let me look over this. We got one, two, three... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, wait, 1, 2, hold on, 6, 12, 13, 13 drivers in chase contention, and 3 of those drivers will be 
uh, clinched, and that is Randy Carpenter, Dylan Poteet, and Sean Galligan. All of you other winners will have to prove yourself next week, and because, you know, if we get a different winner next week, somebody who's not already in it, he will be locked in because he won the final race, and if we get a different winner, then the, fi the last two winners will be knocked out. Um, overall, a pretty fun race. Congratulations to Ryan Richards for getting his first PORWC DC Shoes World Championship victory. Um, it might be his first PORWC win. I'm not sure. But, I don't know. i just saying this so much because he came into the season with, you know, a, a good outlook. He said that he was a rookie and he was... Just looking for experience, hoping to get a top 20 in most races. And now he's going to come away at possibly one of the most difficult tracks that NASCAR runs at and get a win. Um, this race didn't go too long, maybe 15 minutes. So, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Like, comment, rate, subscribe, and all the fun stuff. Let's get to that fun song. <laughs> 